And in yesterday, as we mentioned, it was National Teddy Bear Day and one local hospital used those bears and other stuffed animals to teach and give kids hands on medical experience. That's right. News Leader 9's Khalees McGee gives us an inside look at the children in action. Most of the time, it's the parents bringing their kids to the hospital for a checkup. But Saturday, the kids brought their teddy bears, all in an effort for them to learn more about the medical treatments. I love that, um, that if you don't have an x-ray, you can't figure that stuff out. That's how they figured out I had a broke elbow. Piedmont Columbus Regional hosted their second annual teddy bear clinic at the Piedmont Midtown Conference Center. This is where kids bring their favorite teddy bear or stuffed animal and go through the children's hospital like they would if they had to come to the children's hospital. But the teddy bear receives all the care. With various stations set up for the kids to help administer and watch their stuffed animal receive medical treatment. So when the child comes in, they'll first go to triage and they'll get their weight, temperature, then they'll get an IV put in before surgery. Then they'll go to x-ray though, got to get an x-ray before they go in. And once they get to surgery, they'll sign a consent form. Got to get the kids permission to do surgery on their teddy bear. Um, and then they'll go get a little mask put on. They're getting stitches with yarn put in. Um, and then we'll wheel them out on a little wheelchair to get discharged and get well at home. All to help kids overcome the fear of coming to the hospital and to know what to expect. As we went along and he got to look at the different stages, he uh, started to warm up and he really enjoyed it. The clinic even fueled second grader Asa Carmona's interest in one day being in the medical field. Yeah, discharge and I love doing this, this and that was my favorite part so I could help people and like I could be a part of community. But the festivities didn't stop there. Outside, more vendors such as Columbus Fire Department, Scott's Miracle Riders, and more had snacks and activities for the kids, and others had information for parents. Uh, thank you, Viva. Yeah. And of course, I've already took my Teddy Ben through some of the stations, and he's getting ready to go into surgery right now because it's never too late to learn. Reporting in Columbus, I'm Khalees McGee for WTVM News Leader 9. So cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs>